The United Arab Emirates Abu Dhabi Department of Health has approved the use of special facial scanners in public areas in order to curb the spread of COVID-19. The decision goes into effect today. If the scanners spot a person as being potentially infected with COVID-19, the individual will not be permitted to enter the area and will be forced to take a PCR test within 24 hours to confirm or deny the scanner's diagnosis. This is really, it's a great idea because for us as a customer, it's so much easier to come into the mall because we don't have to take our handies out or whatever, so they are checking it for us. It's fantastic. I feel very good and safe here to be in the mall because I know that everybody is negative. experience today with my family when I came into the mall. We were just scanned immediately with the mobile without the need of a Hosen app or anything else. I think that will increase the safety a lot in the community. Thank you very much. The technology is referred to as speed scanners and was previously trialed at various locations in the Emirate, including the Gantout entry point, select public locations on Yars Island, and entry exit points in the Musafer area. More than 20,000 people were tested showcasing that each scanners work with 90.3% sensitivity when identifying infected individuals and 83% accuracy when identifying non-infected individuals. The technology works by measuring electromagnetic waves, which are altered when the RNA particles of the COVID-19 virus are present. It can therefore provide near-instantaneous results. His Excellency Dr. Jamal Mohammed Al Kabi, Under Secretary at Department of Health, Abu Dhabi, said, Abu Dhabi has adopted an integrated strategy to combat the COVID-19 pandemic based on increased testing to ensure safe entry into the Emirate, vaccination, and the continued implementation of precautionary measures. We are pleased to add each scanning technology, the made in Abu Dhabi to the precautionary measures, helping to create safer areas and maintain public health. The EAD scanners will be used alongside other approved testing methods, such as PCR and DPI. The scanners work by being placed within 5 meters of a person's face and scanning them. It then takes but a few seconds for the scanner to send a message to the scanning smartphone. A green message indicates the person is COVID-19 free, while a red one indicates signs of infection. Of course, there is a 17% chance that a non-infected individual will be falsely scanned. That is where the PCR testing comes in. The technology is reminiscent of the COVID Hunter, announced last February. This device was the world's first non-contact portable viral detector and is allegedly capable of detecting the coronavirus instantly in people and on surfaces. Devices such as these are taking a big step forward in preventing the spread of COVID-19 and helping people stay safe during these trying times.